Good evening Mustangs, I'm Dylan Lark here on the call and the Mustangs just, I believe they lost the toss but they are getting the ball first at the start of this game for the Stanhope Elmore versus Lanier High School Poets. A couple keys to this game, going to need Arthur McQueen to get involved early and often for this South Stanhope Elmore offense. Arthur McQueen has been an absolute hoss all season long. Getting 220 yards last week, gets the W word and 120 receiving yards and also putting up two touchdowns on the ground as well. And Lanier here with the kick off. <laughs> Stand up brought the ball back up to around the 32 yard line. It's a pretty short return off a short punt. <laughs> A stand-up offense struggled last week, keeping the ball in their own hands. Drops were rampant last week against the W word, just all over the place. Coach Floyd, uh, Coach Adams this week, excuse me, Coach Adams this week has talked to me and that he is expecting a more balanced attack for his Mustangs this week. Want to get the passing game more involved on a defense that was very, very vulnerable against the Air Raid against Russell County last week. Start right away with a handoff to Arthur McQueen. And that looks like a gain of maybe a yard on that play. Second and seven. Got actually two more yards on that play. Step comes out in the dual back. Formation, the shotgun formation. Hands the ball off back to Arthur McQueen. He goes around the edge. He's still getting the edge. And what a run. Getting around six yards on that play. Making it third and short. Back in the single back formation. Picked another run here to get off McQueen. Oh, McQueen breaks through. And he is down at the 50 yard line. For a Mustang, first down. down give him an extra yard on that. So now they're in, stand, they're in their own territory. First and ten in the Lanier in Lanier's side of the field on the 49-yard line. Back in the shotgun formation, trips to the left for the Mustangs. Brian takes a snap. He's looking around. He's looking down the field and is nearly intercepted. After the near interception, stand-up's going back. Second and ten. Back in the single back, got trips to the right on this play. And the 
And the ball out back to McQueen. Breaks one tackle. He's taking the edge. And he, he's still on his feet, and he is out of bounds at what looks like the Lanier 24-yard line on a gain of 25 on the play. Back of the shotgun. Four yards out of the red zone for the Mustangs. Play action. Ooh. Play action fooled me, but didn't fool Lanier's defense. That's a loss of four on the play. Second and 13. Stanov goes back to the shotgun formation. Trips to the right this time. Take a Bryant scrambling around. And he is brought down well past the 30. Around the 33 yard line where Bryant is taken down on the sack. So third and 19, just two plays after the giant 25-yard run from Arthur McQueen. Back in the single back, probably looking to give Arthur McQueen the ball here to get them in field goal range. A handoff, and he gets around. About seven yards on the play. Fourth and 13. And Stanham's offense is still on the field. And the shotgun dual running back from the backfield. Oh, might be getting a little bit of a pooch pie here. Brian with the punt and goes into the end zone for a touchback. That's going to be Lanier football on the 20-yard line. The Poets come out on the field after last week where they had a very, very close win over Russell County, 32-28, behind the legs and the arm of their quarterback, Jacquez Thompson, who was starting off hot and trying to throw one deep downfield. But it was two Mustangs in the area for that, and it falls just short. Two guys to look out for on this Lanier offense. Like we said, the number two quarterback, Jacquez Thompson, who has been on a tear both with his legs and his arm this season, and also his star wide receiver, number one, Jamarcus Howard, who has also been on a tear this season, his number one target. We have a little bit of a trick play, play action run to the running back, but only for a gain of round two on the play. That's going to be third and eight for Lanier. But here comes out in the shotgun formation. Trips to the right. Yeah, Thomas Williams playing linebacker. Got a blitz and a curl route. It almost intercepted. 
Donnie Arnold, the usual defensive tackle with the pass deflection on the play. That is a quick three and out forced by the Stanhope defense. Stand up, got two guys in the backfield to return this punt. Jamari Coleman has been a lightning returner. Oh, oh, it almost blocked. And that ball just, just squeezes by that 50 yard line. Bounces 10 more yards. Stand up, get the ball on their own 42 yard line. Correction, 43 yard line. Stand up, come out in good field position after their drive. Started off hot and just fell off a little bit. Coming out in the shotgun formation, trips to the right for the Mustangs. Expecting a lot more McQueen to be used on this drive again. Hand up in the middle. He's juking around and he is brought down, but not after he gained around three on the play. So it'll be second and seven on Stand Up's own 46 yard line. Shotgun formation shifts to the left. Tight formation from the wide receivers. On the quick handoff around the edge. He's stiff on one guy. Th throws a guy's helmet off. And only gains around three more on that run. It's going to be third and four on the 50-yard line. Shotgun, trips to the right this time, probably another flip play. A little fake play, J Brian's looking down and just dropped by Joey Moore. It's gonna be fourth down on the 50. And Kobe Myers come out on the field, the Mustangs are gonna punt the ball here. Fire with the rugby style punt, and that ball is a high one. And he gets fair caught at the near 12 yard, or excuse me, 17 yard line. There we go. I've been a slight drizzle all day, so those, those footballs are going to be a little bit more difficult to catch. But surprisingly, still very dry up here. I'm praying that it stays that way. Lanier comes out here in the shotgun formation, trips to the left. They got everybody spread out on this one. Running back in motion for the swing pass. And he is brought down, but not after he gains, or excuse me, loses three yards on that play. It's going to be second and, correction, lost two yards. Second and 12 on the play for the Lanier Poets right here. Lanier flips their formation on a second and a long play. 
Mustangs bring the heat. And the heat is thrown out of bounds. Not after he gains a, a good five yards on the play. Makes it third. A chains keep moving around. <laughs> It's going to be a nice third and eight for the Linear Poets. Try to make that up jump there. Didn't no one bit. Finds the curl route. As complete and it might be just short of a first down. Fourth and two for Linear Poets. And they're looking to punt here. Zach Holcomb and Jamari Coleman back to receive this punt. I'm glad to see the Stanhope defense swarm to a curl route. Last week versus Wetumpka, those curl routes were killer against this Stanhope defense. Oh, Stanhope so close to getting a block punt on that play. And that punt gets across 50 and it falls on the Stanhope. 36 yard line. Step coming in under center for Jacob Bryant. Hands it off to Arthur McQueen. He goes right up the middle. Almost trucks a guy for a gain of nine on the play. It's going to be second and in inches. Back under center with Drew Bryant. And it back off to McQueen. And he carries about four poets all the way for that first down. Trying to gain a seven on that play. Even with seven poets on his back, Arthur McQueen still showing to be a workhorse this week. Hands the ball back up to McQueen. He goes around the end, cuts back in the middle, and trucks three more poets as he gets a first down. And they got a flag on the play. Got a face mask called on the Poets. So that 10 yard run adds 15 to it. Stanhope ball at the Lanier 23 yard line. Stay up in the shot confirmation. McQueen in motion to the right side. A little read option. Jacob Bryant takes the ball up and he gains around, around three yards on the play. It's going to be a second and seven as the Mustangs enter the red zone on that run. Bryant 
back on our center. And off to McQueen. He runs it to a absolute mosh pit up the middle. And still may find a way to gain two on that play. Third and five on the near 17-yard line. Flag on the play. Delay a game. Oh. Correction, that is offsides on the linear defense. So that gets Dano, but first down on the linear 12 yard line. And this clock absolutely dwindled in the first quarter. We are going into the second quarter. Going into the second quarter, tied 0 0. State up trying to find a way to make Lanier play their way. Running the ball that entire first quarter, ran that clock out. Stamps got to start the second quarter at Lanier's 12-yard line with four downs to get a touchdown. the second quarter. Stamp got the ball on the own 12-yard line. Start this quarter off in a single back formation. And the ball to McQueen. He finds a hole in the middle and he stumbles all the way up to what looks around the five-yard line. Gain of eight on the play. Makes it second and two. formation got two fullbacks right there and off to McQueen and he is in the end zone on it Arthur McQueen heavy drive out of the touchdown for Arthur McQueen starting off early this time around Flag on the PAT. Looks like an offside on Lanier. Go 
now even easier for Colby Byer, a guy who has been absolutely electric from these PATs over the past few weeks. And he absolutely drills that PAT. Talking to Coach Adams this week, and he said, following a Russell County game for Lanier, where they only gave up 58 yards on the ground, he said there was going to be no worries on whether or not this Lanier team was going to be able to stop Arthur McQueen or not. And that drive right there was proof enough. Arthur McQueen is just a tough man to stop. As a flag on the kickoff. Offside, on stand up. They're going to back it up five yards and retry the kick. with the kick again. And he directs the kick right to the near wide receiver. Who finds a way to fall all the way up to their own 44 yard line. Be first and 10 the near in their best field position of the night. First attempt for the Poets. About the shotgun formation, they got dual wide receivers on both sides of the field. Hands the ball off. And Thomas Williams jumps on his back. But it's not enough to bring him down. Sean Caffey dives, doesn't quite get him. And that's going to be a Lanier touchdown. On a 56 yard run. It's a touchdown for Lanier. One play, one run, one touchdown for Lanier on that drive.
PAT is good. Ties the game at seven. With just 10.49 left in this first half. Lanier with the kickoff, takes a bounce. And it's picked up by the Cameron Jones, who takes it just outside the stand-up 20. And there's a flag on the play. Two penalties on the play, both one on Sando, one on Lanier, both on sportsmanlike conduct plays. Those penalties will offset the Sando ball still at the 21-yard line. Set up ball, come back in the single back formation. And the ball right back off to McQuaid, and he has met the backfield. And there was a fumble on the play. Lanier football on the Stanhope 18 yard line. Change move, now they have it at the 19 yard line. Huge mistake by the star running back for the Mustangs. So that's Lanier Ball in their own in their red zone. Giving the stand-up defense a tough spot to start at. They're coming out on the trips to the left shotgun formation. Big snap. He's looking downfield. Back in the end zone. And it is incomplete. It's a second and ten. They're coming back out in the same formation again, but looking to the left side of the field, finds the curl, but find, looks over the street. Toss it to the running back, who has just beat his man. It's going to be another Lanier touchdown. Leonard taking advantage of a huge mistake by that Stanhope Elmore offense. PAT is good. 
Making it a 14-7 ball game with 10-25 left to go in the second quarter. That dribble starting to pick up. Made that ball a little bit more difficult to grab. Big ball, a little pooch kick. Caught by Casey Cutting and the linebacker who brings it up to the Stan Hope 32 yard line. Tim coming out in the shotgun formation. Three receivers to the left. Hands the ball back to McQueen. A little tough handoff there. McQueen with a gain of three on the play, making it second and seven. Same with seven, seven, coming back out in the shotgun formation. Tight formation trips to the right. A little toss play to KO. Now looks like he gets just three yards short of the first down, making a third and three. Third and three, Sam come back, back to back to back. Shotgun formations, high snap, hands it off to McQueen. And he drags about four or five more poets across that first down marker for a gain of what looks like six on the play. And Mustang first down on their own 43 yard line. Back in the single back. Hand off back to McQueen. As he gains around five yards on that play. They get second and five. Single back formation, hands it, play action pass. Look at now, looking for Joey Moore. And he gets batted down. And a third and five.
35 Stamps comes back in the single back formation. Hands the ball off to McQueen. He goes to the left side in the foot race. And he gets dragged down at the 30 yard line. A huge gain on that play. Thirty-five yard gain for McQueen. Well play action pass. Scream to KO Jackson. Who takes that ball? Looks like right inside the red zone, if not the 20 yard line. Look at the extra yard. He's gonna be on the 19 yard line. Back in the red zone for the Mustangs. Pass play for 11 for K.O. Jackson. Handoff to McQueen again. And he runs into absolute pile up of poets. Again, a three on the play, making it second and seven. And Lanier calls a timeout on the play. Head up to McQueen. Got on the outside. And he is pulled down, but not after he, right after he got a first down. Make it a first and goal on the Lanier nine yard line. Correction, that is first and goal on the seven yard line. Senna brings back the dual fullbacks. A handoff to McQueen. Well, the near met him in the backfield, but not before he got a gain of two on the play. Makes it second and goal on the five yard line. Back to that same formation. Hand the ball off to McQueen again, and he is flipped for no gain on the play. Third and goal on the five yard line. Got around 5.15 left to go in this first half. Hands the ball off again. It's like gained around maybe one on the play. It's a fourth and goal on the four yard line. 
And Colby Byer comes on the field. They're going to kick this field goal with 4.30 left to go in this first half. And Byers boots it, and that is good, making it 14 to 10 in Lanier's favor with four minutes to go in this first half. Four minutes to go left in this first half. After the Bayer field goal puts this game within four points. And Bayer boots a squib kick that bounces all the way to the 25 yard line. And he is absolutely drilled. Well, here he gets the ball at their own 22 yard line after an absolute missile of a tackle on that kick return. There comes out the shotgun formation. Read option play. And Jacquez takes it up to around the 33, 32 yard line. It's good enough for a first down. And that's an issue Coach Adams talked about a lot this week, trying to lock down Thompson's legs as well as his arm. Slender team not very deep, only 26 players on their roster. Absolutely no freshmen. But still finding a way to be 4-2 and two on the season. Driving an all-star caliber season from Jacquez Thompson. And he comes around the end, and that's a sack for Donnie Arnold. After our last stream where Donnie Arnold got like 17 pressures on the Carver quarterback and couldn't get down a single sack, finally breaks sack curse and costs a loss of seven for the Lanier Poets. Second and 17. Drop back the pass. That's a little halfback screen. Does a little short runback, still catches it. And he finds a way to get first down on that play. There's ball to the wrong 45 yard line after the huge pickup on the halfback screen.
Shotgun formation. Looking to the right. Looking for the curl route. And he is shut down as soon as he catches it. Gain of six on the play. Correction, gain of seven. Chains are still moving. Second and three on the Stanhope 48-yard line. Stand up, bring a pressure, and that's going to be a fall. That's going to be an offside on Stanhope. It's going to be an automatic first down. An offside on Cameron Anderson. Makes it in a first ten, first and ten on the Stanhope. On the Stanhope 43 yard line. Back in the shotgun, trips to the left. Flanier, uh, and a read option, quarterback keeper, and he goes out of bounds at the 40 yard line for a gain of, for a gain of three on the play, they get a second and seven. Second and seven on the stand up 40 yard line for the near. We have false start for the near. Makes a second and seven, a second and 12. Going back five yards, back of the shotgun, same formation. And stand up showing blitz here. On a second and long play with just a minute, 15 left to go in this first half. Looking down the field. Wide open receiver. He is brought down for against the end zone by Deshaun Caffey on the Stanhope three yard line. Clock still moving, 45 seconds left to go in this first half. Well, the first and goal for Lanier. Putting a wildcat formation here. Lanier with 12 players on the field, costing five yards. First and goal from their, from the Stanhope eight yard line. Came out in the same wildcat formation and then Lanier called a timeout there to stop the clock at 32 seconds left.
of the timeout. Make after the flag made it a first and goal on the eight instead of the three. Looking for the fade route to the end zone, and that is brought down for the Lanier touchdown. Just 28 seconds left in the first half. Lanier's PAT holding, waiting to make it a 21 to 10 ball game. Lanier calls their last timeout on the PAT attempt. Couldn't quite get their 11 guys on the field. Lanier back on the field with 11 players this time around. I'm going to make a PAT to make this a 21-10 ball game. There's 28 seconds left to go in this first half, and that PAT is blocked. 20 seconds left. Only a 10-point deficit for Stanhope. I'm going to get one last drive in before the end of the first half. Later kicks off a little squib kick. Bounces off KC's hands. Picked up by Jamari Coleman who brings it to the 30 yard line. Stops clock at 22 seconds. Fake handoff, hands it off to McQueen, who gets the first down. First down stops the clock at 15 seconds left in this first half. Gave an extra yard in that play. And that's going to let this clock run out. Going to halftime. Down by 10. 20 to 10. After the three Lanier touchdowns. More coverage of the Mustangs following halftime. And we'll still be live for the halftime shows. So stay tuned for those.
Ladies and gentlemen, presenting for your halftime entertainment, the San Oak Elmore High School, Royal Millbrook, Marching Band. The band is under the field direction of drum major, Clarence Signoran, assistant drum major, Lynn Moore, band captain, Michael Berenger, assistant band captain, Sophie Bogsell, drum captain, Zayden A.G. and Elliot Hansen. Dance Captain, Sarah Grace Richardson, and Emily Sewell, and Color Guard Captain, Morgan Moss, and Kiara Powers. This evening's show is Dragon Hunt by Randall Sandridge. Drum Major, is the band ready? Ladies and gentlemen, the pride of Europa.
Suddenly, from the shadows, the Dragon Lord's minions attack. The Pride of Oprah is under the direction of Mr. Wesley Morales. Assistant Director, Mr. Will Portfield. Dancing coach, Ms. Billy Fraser. And color guard sponsor, Sloan Hicks. Thank you for your time and attention. And go Mustangs. The Pride of Oprah is sponsored by WW Restoration LLC. Not Testicle. True Wealth Advisors. Chico's Auto Pros of Elmore, Alabama, Scott Auto, Prando Carpet, Polly Survey, Made by Molly, Portside Funeral Hall, Michael Gay at St. Paul Realty, Smokehouse Barbecue, J.P. Weldy, and First Community Bay. Thank you to our sponsors and for their dedication to the performing arts. Ladies and gentlemen, let's recognize our San Jose Elmore Varsity Cheerleaders. Freshman Dakota Brennan. Freshman Victoria Harmon. Sophomores Miranda Anthony Loving. Taylor Braxton. Taylor Cochran. Junior Stacey Boyd. Maya Carroll. Jamie Moulton. Kirsten Pearson. Amelia Bull. Seniors, UCLA All-American, Jason Daniel. 
Coach Hacker, and you see All America, Angel Jackson. Coach Hacker, and you see All American, Taylor John. Jackson, and you see All American, Lauren McElroy. You see All American, Taylor Hockman. You see All American, Mia Smith. You see All American, Logan Williams. UCA All-American, Samantha Wilson. And the mascot, UCA All-American, Tony Taylor. And coach, Haley Barnes.
Back from half, Kobe Byer with the kickoffs. A little squib kick down the middle. One poet in the air picks it up. And he takes it. He is brought down by freshman Demarion Barnes, who brings the Lanier Poet down at the at their own 40-yard line. This half state out really needs to find a way to stay in their ground after after Lanier found the end zone on three consecutive drives. A little stoppage so the so the rest can get a dry ball. First and ten, the linear forty. They come out in the dual wide receiver shotgun formation. That's a flag. A false start on Lanier. So first and 15 on Lanier, 45 yard line. Handoff met by Donnie Arnold, who Barely allows one yard on that play, making it second and 14. Second and 14, back in the same formation. So a pass play, looking down the field. Wide receiver beats his man, that's Demarcus Howard, who brings the ball down to the Stanhope 31 yard line for a first down. Hand up of the middle. One tackle broken. Two Mustangs need to take down Lanier's running back, who brings it into the red zone. Inside at the Stanhope 12 yard line. Same formation again for Lanier. Little read option, running back, uh, quarterback stiff arms, and he is brought down. Brought down by Casey Cunningham. Oh, looks like a gain of one yard, second and nine on the 11 yard line. Flag on the play. Like another false start for Lanier. Turns a second and nine to a second and 14. Uh, backing up to Stan Hope's 16 yard line. Nice shotgun formation trips to the right this time around. A 
flag on the play. Delay a game for Lanier. Turns second and 14 to a second and 19. Pushing them back to the Stanhope 21 yard line. Lanier takes a snap, he's getting pressured. He runs around. No one in front of him. And Jacquez gets a touchdown, but there's a penalty on the play. Holding on the offense. So that gets rid of the touchdown on the play. So that gives Lanier the ball at the 19 yard line. And the chains are moving up. Makes a second and 11 after the holding call. Back in the shotgun, trips to the right for Lanier. Looking for the slant, pump fakes. Trying to outrun Thomas Williams, who, push, who scares him out of bounds. <laughs> Makes it a third and 15. That's dirt and 16. After the Thomas Williams pressure on the play. There takes a snap, looking down the field. Thomas Williams there again with the sack on the play. Set fourth down on the Stanhope 26 yard line. Making it fourth and 24. And Lanier offense still on the field. Looking to go for it on this play. Rough back, can't find anybody. Moves up and almost a touchdown. Wide receiver drops it in the end zone on fourth down. That's Stan Hope football at their own 26 yard line. And with our first drive of the second half. Looking, trying to find a way to catch up. Only down by 10 in the second half. Three in motion, almost made a poet jump. Hands off to McQueen, who takes it around the edge for what looks like it's gonna be a gain of, a gain of five on the play for Arthur McQueen. Correction, gain of six yards, second and four. 
on the third team. Bryant drops back, finds his guy, who is going, looks to stay in the distance, and he is brought down at the Lanier 17-yard line. That is Darren Smoke on the reception. After a huge play that flipped the field. A handoff that goes for five yards on that play, making a second and five for Arthur McQueen. Shotgun formation, second and seven on the play. Read option, Bryant takes it around the end. And he gets up to the 11 yard line. For a gain of five. Third and three. Correction, get a four on the play. Make it second and third and three on the play. Going back to the dual back shotgun formation. Hands the ball off. The 18, Darian Smoke. And they're going to give him the first down. First and goal. After a first down, gives, gives him the ball at the Lanier seven-yard line. Get the ace backs back in here. Give it to McQueen, who falls forward for what looks going to be a gain of three on the play. Makes it second and goal on the four-yard line. Same formation for the Mustangs. Hamilton McQueen again. And he fights. And they give him the touchdown. Another touchdown for Arthur McQueen. Makes the game 20 to 16. With Kobe Byers PAT pending. Byers kick is up and it is good. 20 to 17 with just 356 remaining in this third quarter. Mustangs only down by three.
by with the kick, squibs it down the right side of the field. Oh, Lanier almost let that get behind him. Gets the ball at the Lanier 24 yard line after the near blunder for the Poets. Lanier back in that double wide receiver shotgun formation. Hands the ball off. And he is stuffed, but not after he gains a good three yards on the play. Lanier catches the ball after the curl route. Jukes inside. And he's got Casey Cunningham to meet him at the Stan Hope 39-yard line. A huge play for Lanier. First and 10 on the Stanhope, 39 yard line. They're a huge play by Lanier. Sam looking to bring pressure on this play. Lanier's calling an audible. And the shot confirmation trips to the right. Lear tried to make Stanhope jump, didn't work. Lanier jumps instead, false start, makes it first and 15 on the Stanhope 49 yard line. Same formation, hands it off to number 11, who makes one Mustang miss, but Cameron Anderson is there to get the tackle. There's a penalty on the play. Look at Stanhope. And sports by conduct. That gives Lanier the ball in their red zone. After a blunder by the Stanhope defense. Back to that same formation yet again for the pass. Finds the curl route and puts it a little too far to the left for his intended target. Second and 10 on the 20 yard line. And here comes back out in that same formation yet again. Stand up, sends a blitz. But here finds a curl route, makes one guy miss. But Sean Caffey's got a hold of him. It's going to be a gain of four on the play. Actually, they give him the extra yard. Yeah. 
It's a third and five on the 15. Steph's going to need a big play on this third and five to hold them to a field goal to keep this game within seven points. Leonard flips that formation. They've been running this entire drive. The late blitz from the Mustangs. Can't find a guy. And nearly intercepted by the Mustangs in the end zone. Made it fourth down and five on the Stanhope 15 yard line. Layers keeping their offense on the field. They're looking to go for it here. Back the same formation yet again. Stand out bringing a blitz here. Screen play. Cuts inside. Makes three Mustangs miss. And waltzes in for a touchdown for the Poets. Sorry, but we had a little technical difficulties on our end. Internet went out. But while we were gone, y'all missed out on some huge runs by Darian Smoke to get the Mustangs into the into the Lanier territory. That ball's batted down. They had third and eight on the Lanier 29-yard line. Big third down here as the Mustangs are now down by nine. Looking for the swing pass to Arthur McQueen. Who makes a guy miss, hurdles over another, and finds his way to the Lanier 18-yard line, giving the Mustangs a first down in the Lanier red zone. First and 10, hands it off to Arthur McQueen, who breaks a couple tackles and gets out of bounds at the near 12-yard line. Nine-yard run for Arthur McQueen, and we got a poet on the ground.
after the nine yard run by Arthur McQueen. State of ball. Hands off to McQueen again. Makes a couple guys miss and falls down. Gets to the five yard line. Second and goal on the five yard line after the Arthur McQueen run. Mustangs back in that H back formation. McQueen takes it an extra two yards, gives it the three yard line for a third and goal. Third and goal on the three yard line. Mustangs come back out and the Deutsch back. And Lanier calls a timeout. Back after the timeout, back to third down and goal with three left to go. Ten minutes left in this game, down by nine. State up bringing back those two H backs. Alex McQueen again. He lowers his shoulder and gets in the end zone for his third touchdown of the day for Arthur McQueen. Making it 26 to 23. With this buyer PAT pending, it's about to be a two point ball game. That PAT is good. 26-24, 10-02 left in the game. Bayer with the kick, squibs it to the right side again. And Lanier just downs it at their own 36 yard line. Stanhope has battled their way back within two points of this game. 
and now it rests on the defense to get the ball back for the offense. That missed PAT and that uh, failed two-point conversion really coming back to bite Lanier in the butt. Lanier comes out in the shotgun formation, trips to the right. Stand up bringing pressure of the middle. Read option, miscommunication, but Lanier still finds a way. To gain five yards on the play. Actually, six yards of a play makes it second and four on the near 42 yard line. Back to the shotgun formation. Lanier takes a snap. Sanho blitz. And multiple Mustangs in the backfield. And there's a sack on the play. Loss of one. We had an injured Mustang on the floor. Bunny Jackson gets injured on the sack, but makes it third and five. On a key third down on the Lanier 41 yard line. Mustang showing blitz again. Bringing six, gets pressure. Just gets the ball out and is caught for a first down. Flips the field. And that's going to be a first and ten for Lanier on the, on the Stanhope 48-yard line. Ball off up the middle. Levin breaks three, four, five tackles and finds his way at the Stanhope 30 yard line for another first down. He's find a way to get a stop on this drive. Eight minutes on the clock, and it is ticking. Takes a snap. Shows blitz. There's a flag on the play. Offsides on the offense for a loss of five, first and 15. Back in the shotgun formation, trips to the right for the Poets. Takes a snap. Read option, hands, keeps it, and he finds the edge, and he is down in the red zone at what looks like the Stanhope 14 yard line. Okay. 
from Peyton Lear. First and 10 on the, on the Stanhope 14 yard line. Back of the shotgun formation, flipped the side this time, trips to the left. Hands the ball off. Breaks a couple of tackles, bounces to the outside, and gets shouldered out of bounds. So it's going to be a first and goal on the what looks like the three yard line. And there's a flag. A sideline warning for Lanier. First and goal for Lanier on their own three yard line. I'm sorry, correct him, on the Stanhope three yard line. Stanhope is showing a lot of pressure on this play. Lanier hands the ball off to the running back. And he maybe got back to the line of scrimmage on that play. Back to the three yard line. Second and goal. Another handoff. Mustangs in the backfield trying to strip the ball out. That's no gain on the run. Third and goal, still on the three yard line. I'm going to need a big stop here in order to keep hold the Poets to three. All the fade route to the back of the end zone. Out of bounds. That's fourth down. takes another timeout with 542 left in this ball game. Lanier puts their offense back on the field, trying to make this a two-score ball game on fourth and goal. A gutsy call here for Lanier's head coach. Wide open receiver on the play. That's touchdown Lanier. 
Oh, it was a key fourth down for the state of defense. Goes Lanier's way. Makes it an eight point ball game pending this PAT. Offense still on the field, trying to go for two to make it a 10-point game. Makes a snap, called the same play again, but looks for the slant this time. Almost intercepted by one hand by Casey Cunningham. Seven left. Stand up can still tie this game with a touchdown and a two point attempt. Only down by eight. The key drive for the stand up offense. With 5.30 left in this game, eight points down to Lanier and a playoff spot potentially on the line for the Mustangs. There, takes it up in the air. That's caught by Smoke. Cut up the field. And looks like he almost lost the ball, but fell on it. Yes, stand up the ball. That looks like their own 34 yard line. First and 10 for the Mustangs on the 34 yard line. Down by eight with 5.31 left to go in this ball game. Hands the ball to McQueen, who makes a couple guys miss, and Rumbles Bubble stumbles his way for an 11 yard gain for a first down. Yes, they have the ball on their own 45 yard line. goes under center. Three guys in motion in a single back formation. Hands off to McQueen again. Cuts it outside. Cuts up field. And he takes that ball 14 yards for another first down. Flips the field. Gets to the Lanier 41 yard line on that huge run. Good play call from this Mustang offense. Getting yards, keeping that time ticking. And hopes it's gonna be the last drive of the game to tie it, take it to OT. Play action pass, batted down at the line. Then second and 10. Bryant trying to get the ball out to KO on the swing pass there. Second and 10, 426 left to go in this ball game. 41 yards between the stand up offense and the end zone. Back in the shotgun, trips right. A little trick play action going on. And it loses three yards on the play. And Arthur McQueen a little slow to get up. Freshman to Marion Barnes comes in to replace a 
little banged up Arthur McQueen on a key third down and 13. Backed up to the Lanier 44 yard line. Clock is ticking. 3.30 left to go in this ball game. Third and 13 for the Mustangs with a freshman running back in to replace McQueen. Bryant looks back, takes a snap. And that ball is almost intercepted. Making it at fourth and 13 on the 44 yard line. And 3.20 left in this ball game. Stand up with all three timeouts. Down by eight. They're looking to punt here. Giving the ball back to Lanier. That ball goes to the end zone for a touchback. Lanier ball at the 20 yard line with 3-12 left in this ball game. It is all or nothing for the Stanhope defense on what could be the last drive of the game. But three timeouts, Stanhope defense has been relentless all year and they're gonna need a big stop here to get Stanhope this ball back. Lanier ball at their own 20 yard line. Again, stand up still has all three of their timeouts. So if you can force to a quick three and out here, you can get the ball back very quickly. But a handoff from Lanier's running back gets them what looks gonna be a three yard game. That's a timeout for Stanhope. Stop that clock at 3.02. Second and eight. Coach Adams got to find a way to get this defense to hold this Lanier offense who's been having a little bit of a field day offensively. Eight yards left between that first down and those eight yards are gonna be detrimental if they get gained here. Second and eight, Lanier's coming out on the 22 yard line and the shotgun formation. Two wide receivers on both sides. Running back to the quarterback's left. And there hands the ball off again. Met in the backfield on a loss. Loss of one on the play, makes it third and nine. And a quick timeout from Coach Adams. Stops the clock at 2.58. Third and nine for the stand-up defense. One timeout left to use as soon as they can get a stop on this play. On um, what could possibly be a passing down. Watch out for the curl routes on this play. Another play that's been very harmful to the stand -up secondary at times this season. Well, then you could also very well run this ball and try to kill some more clock. 
Shotgun formation trips left. Three guys on the left side. It's pass play. Looking downfield, gets pressured. Cuts up field. Breaks a couple of tackles, arm tackles all over the place. And Lanier gets the first down. Gain a 10 on the play. Clock is still rolling. Corbeck went down instead of going out. 2.40 left to go in this game. Stand up is one timeout with 2.30 left to get eight more points in a game that could mean the difference between a playoff spot and an elimination. And Lanier sticks to the ground game, trying to run the rest of this clock. Gain a two on the play. Chain still moving, gain a three on the play. Second and seven. And they got a Mustang on the ground. Injury stops the clock at 2.13. Second and seven. Two minutes and clock is rolling after the injury. Shotgun formation. And they're just gonna let the clock roll out. Hands the ball off. Met by Cameron Anderson who gets dragged for a yard or two. They get second or third and five. The minute 40 left and ticking. With a stop here, Stanham might be looking to try to get a punt return to win this game. With this clock still rolling. Well, one timeout left to get a stop here, you stop the clock. Blenier's gonna let that clock roll down until it gets below a minute. Lanier takes the timeout and stops the clock with a minute or two left. So 102, third and five. Stand up still has one timeout left. And all you have to do is stop Lanier from getting five yards so you can stop the clock again and get the ball back with what's gonna be, hopefully, 40 plus seconds left in the game for the Stanhope Elmore Mustangs. Stand up still has one timeout left, but these five yards make the difference between a playoff spot and an elimination. Stand up showing pressure on this play. Lanier keeps it, quarterback keeper. He gets the first down and he is still going. Gets pushed out of bounds at what's gonna be a huge game for Lanier. Gets the ball to the Stanhope. 22 yard line for a first down. 51 seconds left to go in this ball game. Sam still has one timeout. And it looks like that only hope for Stanhope here is going to be a turnover. And 
here, takes the knee. And that clock is gonna roll. And one more knee will do it. And that's gonna be game. Stanhope takes the loss 32 to 14, 20, correction, 32 24. As this clock gets under 10 seconds. And with another region loss, that's going to be it for playoff hopes for Coach Adams of Stanhope in year one. Tough, hard fought loss for the Mustangs. Got back in it, couldn't get the stops they needed. Nice ball game. And with that, that's going to end our broadcast of Stanho versus Lanier. We'll be back in two weeks for a homecoming versus Park Crossing. We are Essie.